Tonight, a local man is pleading for the return of his vintage bicycle that was stolen near Wayne State University. A 1976 Schwinn uh, was ridden away with near Canfield and John R. Victor Williams live in that same spot after talking with the bicycle's owner. Uh, not your average everyday bike, Victor. No, Devin, not at all. And this was a real classic. And it's such a shame it was stolen because you can tell it's really cherished by the owner. At a blink of an eye, my bike was not in this spot. And it was such a beautiful bike. It only took a few moments for thieves to steal this vintage 1976 Schwinn bicycle from outside of the La Palma Mediterranean restaurant while the owner Robert Hicks was inside. I took off running, yelling, police, 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 stop, stop, drop, drop the bike. Uh, so I felt like I turned into Superman or the police. Look closely at the surveillance video and you see two young adults believed to be students passing by on a single scooter. In a split second, the decision is made to turn around when one gets off and steals the bike in just seconds. A young person with a backpack that was on a scooter zoomed in, seen a beautiful bike and decided, hey, I'm going to take this bike. The bike means a lot to Mr. Hicks. It's one of his main sources of transportation. I polish it, uh, I keep it up, uh, I added a vintage horn, uh, and uh, it's just an amazing, comfortable bike, and it can't be replaced. And with bikes from the same year and maker being sold in the thousands, Mr. Hicks says he's hoping the thieves can have a change of heart and return it to where it was found. People have asked me, they said, Robert, I have an extra bike, I'll give it to you, but it's not the same. And if this bike is not returned, Mr. Hicks says that he's planning on pressing charges. That's if he finds out who's responsible. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor.